Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian at Brian's Tech Therapy. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. This is a video I've been wanting to do for you guys forever, and now it is here. Special thank you to Shane from Spare Change, my partner in crime who is not a gamer was watching his sony x95k at 85 inches and saw a software update that he brought to my attention again not a gamer and right in that update it says variable refresh rate and local dimming very very important update that we didn't think was coming that is here and it changes everything thank you to shane I went in to grab my Sony X90K, which is on loan to me from Mr. Robert Zahn. I am showing you VRR is now enabled. We have not updated it yet as we move into Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, for those of you that don't know, with local dimming and variable refresh rate, the update was a few months ago, which benefited the panels a great deal. However, local dimming, which is the most important um, aspect of LEDs other than their peak brightness, has to be disabled in order for VRR to function. Now, while the screen tearing would be gone and it's more responsive, once you lose that local dimming, any kind of cinematic game is very hard to see. Blooming, blacks turn gray, it is a huge issue, even with the many LEDs uh, that are in many LEDs. The Sony X90K is full array, the X95K is a mini LED, and the Z9K is also mini LED. I just gamed at the Z9K which is phenomenal, but does disable local dimming. Now, here we go through the settings. I will illustrate it for you. Going into the game settings, both gradation and brightness preferred don't do anything, though they aren't grayed out. As we get down to local dimming, there you can see with VRR, it is locked. It is grayed out. It does not function. Now, I've tested the X95K and the PS5. Local dimming does make a huge difference in games like Returnal. Life bars, HUDs do bloom aggressively, so I recommend keeping it off. However, with gaming, VRR is not just about uh, screen tear free gaming. It does help unlock the frame rate or uncap the frame rate in some games, games like Ratchet and Clank. Now, as we come into Sony's uh, menu, we find the update. There it is. We search for it. And though Shane sent me a picture, it is one of the nicest looking updates as it just explains exactly what it does. It doesn't mention reduction of bugs or fixes. It tells you right in the first sentence, you need this. Update it. Let it do its thing. In the meantime, I power off the Xbox, close the Vanguard app, and then restart the TV. Here we are back on Vanguard. Now, this has been the craziest or perhaps the best and worst TV year. There's a lot of flip-flopping, a lot of changing on what TV is better. Other TVs being crushed by updates. This update changes everything as far as how we recommend TVs, or at least how I do. This update makes all these other TVs a choice for me and a recommendation for you. We go in. And it is a little buggy for the first couple times you jump into the menu. Brightness, there it is. I'm holding my breath. Local dimming is... Come on, there it is. And it does change the image. We will also jump into Modern Warfare. The campaign on the first level has very deep blacks, which I found unplayable on Sony LEDs this year. I do not know if this raises the input lag or response time. As of right now, it feels exactly the same way as it did. We have all been pushing for this. Again, our good friend Robert Zahn has been begging the engineers to do something like this. Hopefully, it worked. Thank you to the Sony engineers for bringing this out. Now, if you have an OLED, it doesn't matter, but for you LED guys, where this matters the most is the peak brightness of these LEDs, not the perceived brightness of OLEDs. OLEDs are brighter now than ever, but the Z9K, the X95, and the X90 are bright. The specular highlights do matter. But if that black level is compromised, the, black, uh, the specular highlights means nothing as it washes out the entire image. 
showing you again a dark scene you will see that it changes it is doing something and it does seem like when it goes to local dimming on high it's more aggressive it does brighten the image but it does change the blacks i am so excited that this is here even Samsung, with all its great gaming features on their LED lineups, they do disable local dimming as well. Though their game optimizer allows you to drop some of the settings down, you still disable and lose local dimming. Sony has now changed that. I cannot wait to speak to the engineers at the Value Electronics shootout and hear how they did this. And for them to do this before the shootout, there will be no tough questions other than tell me how you did it and to thank them. Because I just gamed on the Z9K. I filmed that panel at 75 inches and it was absolutely stunning. Even with local dimming disabled, it still looked fantastic. I cannot imagine how it will look now. This was such a big deal to the point to where I actually would tell people not to use variable refresh rate. However, variable refresh rate is being used now, and not just for screen tear free gaming, um, but more for unlocking frame rates, like in games like Ratchet and Clank, being able to unlock the frame rate from 30 FPS to 40 to give you 120 using VRR for that instead of, again, screen tearing like a V-Sync or something like that. Now, just showing you that we are in VRR, we will jump back into Vanguard briefly and show you the difference again, and then we will do one more test. Oh, we'll stay here in Modern Warfare. I apologize. But again, this is something that when you would see on OLEDs made all the difference. This doesn't have a lot of HUDs that glow, but I can tell you the local dimming on high, on medium, and even on low versus off is a big difference. So amazing that this is here. Getting shot. Now as we move over to Vanguard, again a newer title, we'll duck behind the truck here, we'll go back into the settings. What I will also do is go back in and disable VRR. It's a test that I want to do. Again, showing you that it is here, it is on. And so glad that it's on. And so glad that I can recommend these panels and not make excuses for, hey, it's not for gaming, hey, Sorry, it's really bright. The HDR is impactful, but now it's just like, yep, take it. It's awesome. Go for it. As I show you here, you can see the difference with the local dimming. Now, what I've done in the past with the X95K at 85 inches was once you backed out of enabling VRR, the panel would then disable the local dimming and you could see it as you backed out. I will illustrate that for you here. Now here, back into Enhance HDMI Format. Here we are. We will disable it. Actually, we'll just enhance it. Now as we back out here, you can see the local dimming is still black. The screen does not show the zones or lack thereof. As we go back in and enable it, typically when we back out, the screen will be purple. You'll see the local dimming is disabled. Here, as we go in and re-enable it, from enhanced format to VRR, as we back out, the screen will still be black, showing you that local dimming is still there. Awesome. So happy. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Again, special thank you to Shane at Spare Change. Check the description for his channel. Special thank you to Sony, to our good friend Robert, probably talking to Sony. Have a great night. Love you guys. See you in the comments. I see things.